Hey everybody, it's me again, and it's now time for a VHS update, another VHS update for uh, March 23rd, 2013, and uh, today I went to uh, Salvation Army and I picked up five VHS tapes, and uh, two of them are in rental cases that came from Blockbuster, so let's uh, get started. First one I picked up is the 1999, I think this is from 1999, 1999 VHS of Doug's first movie. And I know the Nostalgia Critic reviewed this and um, he was really annoyed by it. But I actually like this movie, to be honest with you. Here's the front, side, and the back. Will charm adults as it engages their children, says Kenneth Turin of Guest Critics of Siskel and Ebert includes a bonus never before seen documentary uh, surprising answers to the most frequently asked questions from from Doug fans only on this video and it's rated uh, G and running time is 83 minutes Here's the tape with the ink label. Print date is, I don't know if you could see it, but it's, hold on, tape's really dirty. It is August 6th, 1999. And... So, there you have it for Doug's first movie. And uh, next VHS is the 1996 VHS of Father of the Bride Part 2 with Steve Martin, Diane Keaton, and Martin Short. And I had the first one on VHS. I'll show uh, this one and the other one when I do my Touchstone VHS collection, which that collection's a little small. Um, Big Glass says uh, the New York Post. Just when his world is back to normal, he's in for the surprise of his life. And here's the front. Sides. Top. And the back. Absolutely hilarious, says American Urban Radio Network. Steve Martin at his comic best is CBS TV Los Angeles. It's rated PG and it's 106 minutes. Here's the tape with the ink label, and the print date is November 5th, 1996. Alright, next up is, the Nostalgia Critic also reviewed this movie. This is the 1995 VHS of Gordy, the talking pig who made it big. Kids will squeal over Gordy, says Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times. Here's the front, side, and the back. Charming. A Charlotte Web meets Forrest Gump, says Boston Phoenix. And it's rated G, and it's uh, 90 minutes. I haven't watched this movie in a long time. Uh... Doug's first movie I haven't watched in a long time either. Here's the ink label. Print date is November 14th, uh, no, October 14th, 1995. And I heard this movie was uh, the same year that Babe was released, which is 1995. Now, Babe is uh, not a Disney film, it's a Universal film, but between Gordy and Babe, um, I'd have to say that uh, Babe's uh, a lot better than this, but this one's still good. And also, um, country singer Doug Stone appears in this uh, in this movie. I haven't listened to his music in a long time, but I need to again. And next tape is the 2002 VHS of Like Mike with Lil Bow Wow, and also has Jonathan Lipnicki, as you can see. Uh, here's the front side 
in the back. Fun for the whole family says W F L D T V Chicago. Two thumbs up says Ebert and Roper. And it's rated PG and it's uh a hundred minutes long. It's open. There we go. Here's the uh, ink label, vertical ink label, and there is no print date on this thing, unfortunately. 20th Century Fox doesn't really do print dates, but Like Mike is a uh, pretty good movie. I haven't watched this movie in years, but it's still pretty good. Still awesome. And last tape I got is the... Um, where is it? 1997 VHS of Wild America with Jonathan Taylor Thomas, Devin Sawa, and Scott Bairstow. Here's the front, spine, and the back. And it's co-produced with uh, Morgan Creek. Um, not too big on their stuff. Wild America is splendid, thrilling, says Roger... Uh, no. Michael Medved of New York Post. Uh, this is rated PG for language and some adventure peril, and it's 107 minutes. Here's the ink label, and the print date is November 25th, 1997. And there you have it for Wild America. And there you have it for the uh, VHS update for um, March 23rd, 2013. And I'll check the openings to these VHS tapes. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.